In this video, I'll demonstrate how to export multiple objects at once, or multiple pages at once, using the Export Inspector. This inspector has several time-saving features, enabling you to export to a number of industry standard formats with a single click. For this tutorial, I'm using the CorelDRAW March 2022 subscriber update version. This subscription-exclusive update has a wealth of user-inspired enhancements to frequently used design features, including an updated export inspector with new tools. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also find a written version of this tutorial. In my first example, I have a document with assets I'd like to export to use in other marketing materials. To prepare for export, my first step will be to use the Objects Inspector to rename each curve from the generic curve to a unique name, since these names will be used as file names upon export. For multi-export options, I'll open the Export Inspector, either from the Window Inspectors menu, or by clicking the three-dot icon below the list of open inspectors. To export a single copy of each object, I'll first set the default export format. I can choose from TIFF, GIF, JPEG, PNG, EPS, PDF, and SVG. I'll start with JPEG export. Then I'll shift select the objects and click the Add New button in the inspector, either at the bottom of the inspector or in the middle. The order of objects is the same as the order in the objects inspector. A thumbnail is displayed for each object, and each object has the default export format, though I could change this for any object. I can also uncheck anything I don't need exported. I'll click the Destination Folder icon to set where the new files will be placed, then click Export. Note that only one folder can be specified for each export operation, though you can change this folder each time you export. In the Destination Folder, I now have a file for each object I selected for export in the correct format with file names that match object names. That was a simple example. But now let's look at exporting multiple versions of each object. To start over, I want to clear the inspector. I can click an object's delete icon to remove it, or I can delete all selected objects at once. All remaining objects are already selected, but I can use the select all icon to deselect everything and select one by one, or use the same icon to select all. This is handy if you have a long list of assets in the inspector and want to remove all of them at once. Now I'll click the Delete Items icon at the bottom of the inspector, which clears the inspector. I'll select just one object and bring it into the Export Inspector. This time I want PNG Export to preserve transparent backgrounds, and I'll click the Settings icon, which opens the export settings relevant to PNG Export. I need a version that's 1000 pixels wide, so I'll open Transformation and set the width then click OK. Back in the inspector, I'll click in the suffix field and add underscore 1000px. Now I want to export a second version of the same object. So I'll click the Options icon and choose Duplicate, remove the suffix, and choose the EPS format so that I'll have a scalable vector version. I could add more export versions in any of the available formats, changing settings as needed. Now I'll use these export settings for the other objects. I'll select the other three objects, and for the PNG export I'll click Options and choose Add Asset with these settings. With the same objects still selected, I'll do the same for the EPS version. I'll export all, and within a few seconds, my destination folder has eight files, a 1000 pixel PNG, and a vector EPS version of all four objects, with the correct file names, and suffixes. In my next example, I want to export this part of the design that includes a rectangle, curve, and paragraph text frame. But because these are separate objects, I first need to group them together. Now, with this group selected and renamed, I'll go back to the Export Inspector, clear what's there, bring in the selected object, and export one PNG version and make a duplicate for SVG export. This format maintains the elements as vector objects and enables text editing. 
In the SVG export settings, I can also choose to embed the font in the file, provided that the fonts I'm using have embedding rights. I'll export. And now I have both versions, each of which contains all the elements I want for use in future documents or to share with my team. In addition to exporting multiple objects, I can also export multiple pages. For this four page document, in order to view all pages at once, I'll open the Pages Inspector and click the Multi-Page View icon so that entire pages can be selected. For exporting, if I select Objects on these pages, it would be the objects that get exported. But to export an entire page, I just have to make sure that the page itself is selected. With Page 1 selected, which I can do in the Workspace or in the Pages Inspector, I'll add it to the Export Inspector, change the format to PDF, and open the settings to make sure all looks good. Now I can shift select the other pages and add these pages for export with the same settings. I'll export all, and in my destination folder, I have all four pages in PDF format. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on exporting multiple assets at once in Corel Draw. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also find a written version of this tutorial.